Okay, guys, um, we are going to get started here. Uh, I'm going to kind of run through this, run through this workout with you guys. Uh, as usual, we, um, we have two parts to our workout. Okay, we're going to have a, a strength portion followed by a four time wad. Um, it's going to involve a little more cardio in that second piece. But uh, our first part for our strength portion here, um, we are going to have three sets of 10 reps of goblet squats. Okay, this will be kettlebell or dumbbell goblet squats. Uh, you guys that are visiting us, do you, do you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell? No. Yes. Francia, uh, Anne-Marie, you do? Yeah, I have two twenty-five. I have two five pounds. I'm just gonna work with that. So okay, wait. so you've got something there. Okay, you've got something. Okay, um, so we have three sets of ten reps, goblet squats. Um, this is gonna be with a three-second pause at the bottom. Okay, and we'll go over this a little bit later, and then after you get those three sets of ten reps. You guys have three sets of six reps, single arm, dumbbell, or kettlebell strict press. This will be six reps on your right side, and then six reps on your left side. Okay? Uh, once we get through our strength piece, um, we've got a lot of different movements here at the bottom. And you guys that are visiting, um, Jane is putting that into the chat bar as we speak, so you'll be able to see that. This is gonna be three rounds. It will have an 18 minute time cap on it. Uh, we'll be starting out with 30 forward lunges. Uh, depending on your space, these can be stationary lunges or walking lunges, whatever you would prefer, okay? And then we'll have 60 second plank hold. This will be on your elbows and then 15 dumbbell or kettlebell sumo deadlift high pulls. Okay, you have three rounds of that. Um, after your three rounds, you're gonna rest for two minutes. So you guys will need a phone to keep track of your time for your plank and your rest um, or a stopwatch or something like that because you are gonna be responsible for your own uh, timing of your rest and your plank okay so two minutes of rest there and then after two minutes of rest you guys are going to go into 30 burpees after the 30 burpees you've got five rounds of 30 air squats and 15 v-ups okay and we'll go through that again as we get closer to it but um we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up, and then we'll go through our first movements for the strength part, okay? So to begin, you guys are going to give me 10 reps total. This will be five each side. A lunge with a reach overhead, okay? So we're gonna go into a wide lunge, and then reach back overhead. Okay, 10 total. Jane, you're doing okay with that? Yeah, I'm just, I didn't know to put the strength in, so. so if, if you bottom, didn't put sorry. the strength part in, I, I wouldn't worry about that. I can guide you guys through that part. Oh, okay, all right. Jane, I'm gonna skip it then. I got it, Jane. She spoke slower enough, slower than the guy okay. yesterday, so I was able awesome. to. Awesome. The guy took the okay, cool. class yesterday. <laughs> all right, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I try to go through it at the beginning, but then I kind of go through it as we go along. Um, and even as you guys start to work out, I'll be kind of repeating um, movements that are coming up just so you guys can follow along, okay? All right, after you get 10 of those lunges, we're gonna go into 10 reps. 
where you're starting out in a squat position and you're grabbing the ends of your toes, chest is up, and then you're gonna keep holding onto your toes and just lift the hips all the way up and then back down to a squat. And then all the way up. Okay, so you're trying to get your legs straight as you lift your hips up. You guys will get 10 reps there. Thank you, Jane. You're welcome. All right, after we get 10 of those, I'm gonna make sure everybody's finished here because this next part we're gonna to do together. Um, this is gonna be a 30 second side plank on the right side and then 30 seconds on the left. And when you guys are doing your side plank, we're gonna be on our hand, okay? So we'll go into a side plank, keeping our hips in line with our shoulders. In three, two, one, go. Try to keep your shoulders stacked over your wrist and keep the hips up. You guys are halfway there. Five, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna switch over to the other side. In three, two, one, and go. Hips up, shoulders stacked over the wrist. Nice job, guys. 10 seconds left. Hi, Grant. Five, three, <laughs> two, one, come on up. All right, now 10 times. Hi, Maureen. <laughs> We're gonna go into a warrior squat. So uh, you're at the bottom of a squat. You're gonna keep your chest up. In that squat, you're going to be rotating, and we're going to go 10 times total. So, rotate, there's one, two, three, all right, 10 total. Try to keep your heels on the ground so your feet should be flat on the ground. Keep the chest up. Really, really reach overhead. Get that good stretch. All right, now you guys are going to need your kettlebell or your dumbbell. We're gonna go into 10 kettlebell or dumbbell deadlifts. So if you're using a dumbbell, you're just gonna stand your dumbbell upright and grab uh, that bell part here. Okay, we're gonna go 10 deadlifts. Nice job. After those deadlifts, we're going to get 10 air squats. Now I want you guys to pause at the bottom for three seconds. Because in this first part, we've got a goblet squat with a three second pause at the bottom. So for your air squats, one, two, three, 
and up. Okay, 10 times. Pause at the bottom for three seconds. Nice work. All right, once you guys are done with your squats, we're gonna go into 10 walking planks. This is gonna be hand, elbow, elbow, hand. You guys are gonna be going from your hands to your elbows 10 times. So hand, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Okay, 10 times. All right, nice work. After those walking planks, we've got two more things here. Second to last thing is gonna be 10 jump squats. So it's just a squat with a small jump at the top. And after those jump squats, everybody's favorite, in case you haven't gotten enough of these, five burpees. Just regular burpees, chest to the ground, small jump, flat to the top. All right. Very good. Okay, so first part here, strength part. This will be three sets of 10 reps of a goblet squat with your kettlebell or your dumbbell. There will be a three second pause at the bottom. Three sets of 10 reps. So with your kettlebell or your dumbbell, you're gonna go into the bottom of that squat, pause for three seconds, and then stick it. Okay, after you get three sets of 10, you guys have five sets of six reps, six reps on your right, six reps on your left, single arm, dumbbell, or kettlebell press. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this, just in case you have a heavy object. So, if you have a lighter object and you can do single arm, you guys are gonna keep your feet under your hips, toes are pointing forward, and it's a single arm press here. Six on the right, six on the left. If you have a kettlebell that's too heavy, you're gonna grab the bottom with both hands, and press up. Same thing with your dumbbell. If you have a dumbbell that's too heavy, you'll hold it with both hands. Press overhead, okay? In that case, if you have both hands on your uh, 
kettlebell or dumbbell, you'll be doing 12 reps total, okay? So before we get started, before we start our working sets, I just wanna see three goblet squats with a three second pause, and then three uh, strict press on your right, and three strict presses on your left. Three goblet squats with a three second pause, three strict presses on the right, three strict presses on the left. Jamie. <laughs> well, it was either that or try the 35, which I tried that earlier. <laughs> How, what weight is your kettlebell? 44. Yeah. No. Nope. 44. <laughs> um, try, uh, if, you, if you turn your dumbbell, if you put both hands on your dumbbell, is that too light? Yeah, the 44 is better. I just wanted to try the single. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, one thing I want to say, what was I going to say? Oh, Beverly. Beverly, on these goblet squats with the pause at mm -hmm. the bottom, this is a really good time for you to practice bringing your feet knees stance out. in and knees out, okay? Yeah. Super try, to, try to reach that below parallel depth with the proper stance and push the knees out. This is a really, really good time for you to practice that, okay? There you go. Good. Okay, guys, uh, once you are ready, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Work at your own pace. Three sets of 10 reps, goblet squat, with a three second pause at the bottom, and then five sets of six reps of your strict press. Six on your right, six on your left. Okay, any questions? All right, here we go. Beverly, that is good. Great, good job. Nice job, Liz. Then after you finish your goblet squats, we have six strict presses on the right, six strict presses on the left. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I messed up. Um, you're, going all, you're going through all of your goblet squats before you move on to your strict presses. My mistake, sorry. Nice work, guys. Ah, oh, Grant, you got that coffee again. <laughs> you just gotta rub it in my face, don't you? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> um, for, uh, Francia, whenever you're done with your squats, can you tell me, um, it's hard to see you, but what are you holding for your squats? Sorry, still trying to work this out. I, I put I took my daughter's backpack and I put the weights in there and then I put, um, had a eight pound okay. ball. So I just put it to make it heavier. Okay. So I was going to say, um, are you able to hold that up just a little bit higher up by your chest? It, it's hard to see you, but it looks like you're holding it lower. Okay. Yeah, if you can, hold it up high. Uh -huh. And then when, when you're squatting, hold it up high, hold your elbows up high, okay. and try to keep the chest upright a little bit more, okay? Okay, okay thank you. Uh -huh. There you go. That looks a lot better, Francia. Good. Joe and Jamie, I can see the sun coming out behind you guys. <laughs> it's getting brighter. <laughs> when you guys first got on, it was pitch black. Yeah. I keep thinking it's 5 a.m. because I'm so used to being here at 5 a.m. Nice work, guys. <clears throat> Once you get through your goblet squats, some of you have already finished, but once you get through your goblet squats, you'll move on to your strict presses. Five sets of six reps on each side. If you're putting both hands on your object there, you'll get 12 reps. We'll say 10 to, we'll say 10 to 12. 10 to 12, Jamie. <laughs> Cause that looks really heavy. <laughs> mm. Jocelyn, judging by your picture, you don't even look like you're sweating. I'm here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> I don't have a like weight that's like heavy enough. You did you say that your weight is not heavy enough? Yeah, I wish I had something that was heavier. What what weight do you have? I don't have one, so I'm getting creative. I'm using a gallon of water. Oh, you don't have one. Yeah. Okay, so you have a gallon of water. Okay, um, where do you live? I live in Selmar. I have no idea where that is at. <laughs> okay, never mind. I was gonna say if you were close by, we could let you use something um, for next time. If you want to, you can uh, increase your reps even so that it's just a, a lighter weight, higher rep, higher repetitions. Okay.
You could probably even go 10 to 12 reps on each side. Yeah, any, anybody on here that has a weight that's not heavy enough, just increase those reps. And also, um, if your weight's lighter, not only can you increase the reps, but uh, slow the movement down. Nice, Beverly. <laughs> Way to get creative. All right, who has the cricket? I know. That cricket's driving me crazy. I keep hearing, I keep hearing a cricket. <laughs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, Anne Marie, are you finished? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. All right. You went through that quick. Just got to get it done with. Get it over. <laughs> I'm just gonna just get it done. <laughs> Let's see. Some of you are finished. Um, Liz, are you finished? Yes. Grant's got. Liz is done. Grant has one more. Jane, how about you? You're good. Okay, Rachel. One more. Okay. Beverly, you look like you're done too, yeah? Yep. Done. Okay. I feel like Pablo's um, grocery bag trick was a good hack for that. Yeah, it was. He <laughs> for adding weight. Uh, yeah. We, we had a guy, um, he loaded up a grocery bag. Um, I definitely make sure it's one of those reusable bags just so there's no accidents. Um, but like those reusable grocery bags from Trader Joe's or something like that, he loaded up one of those um, so that he could hold the handle. Uh, he used it for overhead squats, which worked out really well but they could potentially work for an overhead press or something like that too. So uh, Beverly's using, what were you, what was that laundry detergent? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good idea.
Okay. I think we are done here. All right, uh, Jamie's got a couple reps left and we'll be done. Good. You good? Okay. All right, now, <clears throat> this second part. This is uh, gonna have an 18 minute time cap. I'm just gonna take you guys through all of these movements very quickly. Um, and, and then we'll, we'll get started on this. This is going to start out with three rounds, 30 forward lunges, 60 second plank hold. So you guys are gonna need to time yourselves. Uh, and then 15 dumbbell or kettlebell sumo deadlift high holds. If you have a dumb, if you have a dumbbell, this is gonna look a lot different than if you're using a kettlebell. So just keep that in mind. All right, so your forward lunges, I'm gonna have you guys just follow along with me. We'll get a few reps of each of these movements, okay? So forward lunges. You guys go ahead and come on up to your feet. Oops. Let me readjust my screen, I'm sorry. So forward lunges, you're gonna be stepping forward. Keep the chest up here. Uh, I want you guys to get three forward lunges on, uh, those go six, so six total forward lunges and you're gonna alternate each time. Right, left, right, left. So step forward, that's one, two, three, and so forth. If you have the space and you prefer walking lunges, that's fine as well. If you would like to make it more challenging, you can hold your weight. If you hold your weight in your lunges, you're gonna hold it in that front rack position here with the elbows up, okay? All right, after your 30 forward lunges, we have a 60 second plank hold. And we're gonna do our plank on our elbows today. So I want you guys to go ahead and drop down into a plank position and hold that for 15 seconds. Just keep track of your own 15 seconds here. Elbows, you gotta get, keep everything in line. Squeeze your midline, squeeze your butt. Hold that for 15 seconds. All right. Now, after your plank, uh, we have 15 dumbbell or kettlebell sumo deadlift high pulls. And like I said, uh, if, depending on which piece of equipment you have, these are gonna be different for both. So we're gonna go over the kettlebell sumo deadlift high pull first, and then I'll do the dumbbell. So with your kettlebell, you're gonna have both hands on your kettlebell. You're gonna start out with a wide stance. So this is wider than your squat stance. And your feet are gonna be turned out here. I'm gonna turn to the side here. Toes are pointed out. You're gonna go into a deadlift stance. So your back is flat. Keep tension in your hamstrings. And we're basically deadlifting up, snapping the hips open quick, and then going into a high pull. So in your high pull position, your elbows will be above your armpits, okay? So it looks like this. All right. If you're using a dumbbell, this is gonna be single arm. So if you have a heavy dumbbell, this is gonna be challenging. Your single arm deadlift high pull, it's basically the beginning part of a dumbbell snatch, okay? You'll start from the center, and again, you're gonna start out in that deadlift position. And with one arm, we're going into that high pull, okay? All right, now, if you are using a dumbbell for your high pull, it says that we have 15 reps there. Uh, so what I want you to do 
is switch that to 14 reps and you'll do seven on your right and seven on your left. Okay? So if you have a dumbbell, go ahead and get three on your right, three on your left. If you have a kettlebell, let's give five reps. The main thing is that you guys are using your hips. Really uh, extend the hips very quickly. And remember, elbows are gonna end up above your armpits. Nice. All right. Now, uh, the next part, uh, you're gonna be, you guys are gonna be resting for two minutes, two minutes of rest. After that two minutes of rest, uh, you'll start 30 burpees. And then after your 30 burpees, we have five rounds of 30 air squats and 15 V-ups. Okay, your air squats are just gonna be normal air squats like we did in the uh, warm up. Okay, just regular air squats all the way down and up here. Okay, and then your V ups. Let's see. Uh, Rachel, where's Rachel? Rachel, you have really great V ups, don't you? No, but thank you. <laughs> Who is it? Jamie? Is it Jamie that has really great V ups? No, yes. Rachel has very good V ups. <laughs> I thought it was Rachel. <laughs> Rachel just doesn't want to do it. Okay, fine. I can do it for you, but so I your V ups. Uh, I realize. What is it? I said, I'm happy to do it, but I think you'll quickly realize I'm not the one you're thinking of. <laughs> With our V-ups, we are aiming to reach for our toes here. So from here, we're going to go into a V position. Okay. If those are too hard, I want you guys just to aim to reach for your toes as much as you possibly can, okay? You can actually bend your knees a little bit if you need to, but you guys go ahead and give five reps. Um, also, an alternative to the V-ups is just regular sit-ups. Here, okay? Yeah, from yesterday. Yeah, I know. Got some sit-ups yesterday, too. Really try to get those shoulders off the ground. Reach, reach, reach for the toes. Another option would be if you want to do the V-ups, um, you can just scale those reps down if needed. Yeah, it's, you'll try it. It's very thick. There's a lot of options. Um, one more option I'll throw out there for the V-ups is just the single leg V-up. It's the same thing, but you're just doing one leg at a time. So you'll go opposite hand to opposite foot each time. Okay. All right. Now, do we have any questions before we get started? Any questions? No question. All right. Okay, so we're going to start out uh, with three rounds, 30 forward lunges, 60 second plank hold, 15 kettlebell or sumo deadlift high pull. Three rounds of this. After you get done with your three rounds, you're going to rest for two minutes. Okay? You guys are responsible for keeping track of your own time with the rest and the plank. Okay? I'm going to keep track of your total time because there's an 18 minute time cap here. Okay. All right. If you are ready, go ahead and stand up. Take a step. I can see you. 
And we're going to get started. Again, if you want to challenge yourself on those lunges, you can hold your dumbbell or your kettlebell. All right, guys. Stand by. We're going to get started in three, two, one, and go. You're starting out with 30 forward lunges. This is 30 total. Nice, Jamie. Rachel, I'm not trying to create a competition here, here or anything, but uh, Jamie's holding her dumbbell. Just saying. <laughs> All right, after those lunges, you guys have a 60 second plank hold on your elbows. Nice, Anne Marie. I like it, going with the reverse lunge. I like those too. <laughs> After your plank hold, you guys have 15 sumo deadlift high pulls. Again, if you're doing sumo deadlift high pulls with the kettlebells, You'll have 15 reps. If you're using a dumbbell, you'll do seven on your right, seven on your left. After the high pulls, you guys are going to go back to the beginning for round two, 30 lunges. Hey, you may have said that, sorry, I had my headphones, some more music going, but for the 30, 60, 15, that's the AMRAP. And then we'll do the second part of the burpees and the air squats and be oh, no, the, no, the first part is three rounds. Three rounds. 31. Okay, got it. Yeah, right. you'll, you'll come rounds and then rest for two minutes. Perfect, thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Nice work, guys. <clears throat> I 
Very good. Liz, make sure that your lunge is wide enough. It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like you're, you're stepping forward really, really narrow. There you go. It could have just been the angle, but that looks good right there. Nice. Good job, Maureen. Keep it up. Nice work, Jamie and Joe. Look good. <clears throat> Once you get through your third round, you'll rest for two minutes. Keep it going, guys. Good job, Chris and Rachel. Nice work. Once you finish those rest, uh, reps of the sumo deadlift high pull, rest two minutes. Nice guys. Beverly, are you in your rest period right now? Yeah, good. Good job. There you go, Jane. Nice work. I'm going to start calling you the kettlebell queen. <laughs> You're just really good with kettlebells. After that two minutes of rest, you guys are going into 30 burpees. 
It's like a cash in, cash in of 30 burpees. And when you guys are doing these burpees, I want you to try to push the pace on this, okay? It's only 30. Really push it, all right? Nice, Beverly. All right, let's go, Jamie and Joe. Quick pace, okay? If you rest, make it a really short rest. Good job, guys. There you go, just get it done. Nice work, Rachel and Chris. Keep it going. Push it on the burpees. Yeah, Chris, already on those air squats. <clears throat> All right, Liz, there you go. Work through those burpees, quick pace. Here we go, Jane. <clears throat> you guys can push the pace on those air squats too. Just make sure you're getting that full depth. All the way down, all the way up. Let's go. <clears throat> Keep it up, Jane. Let's go, Liz, finish it up. All right, Anne Marie's on the burpees. Let's go. Good job, Jay. Good, Jamie. Liz, you done with those burpees? Yes, there we go. Nice. Emma, I don't see you in there, but I'm assuming you're working out over there somewhere. There you are, I see you. Let's go, Francia. 
Just keep a nice steady pace all the way through those burpees. Anne Marie, it's 30 burpees. Grant, did you do your burpees? Did you do 30 burpees? Grant? <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna call him out. <laughs> so I heard the CDC said during this whole pandemic, your excuse from burpees in a workout. So I'm going oh, to okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get over there. <laughs> you do your thing. Hey, if you're moving, I'm happy. Nice job, guys. Keep it going. Good job, Rachel. Nice pace, Chris. Let's go, guys. Keep it up, Francia. You're almost there. You guys have five rounds of the air squats and the V-ups. We have a minute 30 left as far as our time cap. Minute 30. Really try to push it here, get as far as you can. Keep going, guys. Come on. Good job, Beverly. There you go. All right, guys. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Five, three, two, one, time. Now, if you want to continue going, keep going and finish everything. But if you're putting your score in sugar wad, your score is when I said time, okay? So just remember that if you're putting your score in. If you want to keep going, keep going. I should just tell all of you to finish it. <laughs> it's optional, Grant, don't worry. <laughs> Jamie, did you finish? Nice. Liz, are you good? You're okay? Thumbs up? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> nice work, Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Oh. How was that, Bev? It was good, but I don't like the V-ups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are hard. They really are hard. We did it, though. Let's see. Who else? Rachel and Chris. There we, we got that done. Is anybody else working still? Are we all done? Yeah. Ah, yeah, Francia. She's going to finish it up. Let's go, girl. Oh, it is. 